Kate St. John. I'm the owner of Neurorhythm. And I'm from California originally, and I got my undergrad in music therapy at Chapman University there. And I got my master's at Colorado State University also in music therapy. Well, my voice teacher, when I was 15, she had a filing cabinet and it had the name music therapy on it. And I said, what's that? And at the time, I was really interested in going into vocal performance or a psychology or double majoring. So when she showed me what was in that drawer, she had some, what turned out to later be some of my textbooks in college and some research articles and things like that. Then I thought, oh, that's it. That's the perfect combination of music and therapy and helping people. And that's what I wanted to do. So ever since I was 15, I've been pursuing music therapy. Well, I started my private practice with Neurorhythm right out of my internship, so that's been since 2002. And um, I also worked in psych for a little while, and I was doing rehab therapy with adults with psychiatric illnesses, and also worked at um, Fine Arts Day programs for adults with developmental disabilities. And my private practice, I was doing at the same time as all of that, and that was for children with special needs. Well, uh, when I was an intern, I was also working for a, uh, an ABA company, Applied Behavior Analysis, and the parents were really interested in music, so they wanted me to do music as part of the ABA therapy, and so I did. And then out of that, I got a bunch of referrals from other parents, and then one mom told another mom, and one thing led to another, and then out of that came my private practice. I love working with young children, and um, I love working with uh, percussion instruments and other kind of props like stuffed animals and scarves and felt boards and things like that. And um, I don't know, I just love playing games with children. And um, I guess my favorite thing for the outcome of it is to see how much our clients are progressing. So that's why I love taking the data so much. So for the children, they think that they're just playing music and having fun, but for us, we're taking a lot of data and then we can know for sure how they're doing and how they're progressing on their goals. So I really get excited about that and making sure that everyone's reaching all their goals. Well, I'm a classically trained singer, so I love opera, but we don't really do a lot of opera and music therapy. Um, I do have a couple of clients who actually really enjoy that, so I will do opera for them. Um, and I also love musical theater, and we have several clients who love musical theater as well. But really, um, we just do whatever music our clients like. So although I really like opera and musical theater, then I will do pop and um, Enya music for relaxation, and I will do um, rock and roll. Um, jazz, you know, depending on what our clients want and need. Um, I play uh, piano and guitar and percussion instruments, and mainly I'm a singer. And um, so those are those are my three: is voice, piano, and guitar. Oh gosh, I love seeing. Our clients progress on their goals and I love seeing them have fun while they're doing it and I, I guess that would be my favorite thing um, there's just so much about it that I love I love the science behind it too which is why we focus so much on neurologic music therapy that's more brain-based and behavior therapy so I like using the really kind of um, strategic and regimented kind of techniques that have been researched really well, but then using them in a way that's really fun for, for our clients. And so for them, they just are playing and, and having a lot of fun. And, um, but for us, there's just a lot of science behind it. So I really love that part too, that it's not just, music therapy isn't just kind of like a, um, like a fun only kind of service. It's actually, you know, really scientific. So I love that. Thank you.